Welcome to the Wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day, Episode 2. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving. And if this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. All right, this is Episode 2 of the Wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day, which means in the description, I've got a link there for you to how this shave began, all right? Now we're gonna continue on with my Wade and Butcher for Gentleman Juice. This is just a marvelous blade, a smiling blade, barber's notch, 15 16 and it's a wedge. And I really enjoy it. It is a fabulous, fabulous razor. Now, we are using Vanderhagen and this is out of a Vanderhagen kit, which this is the premium, and the scent's not going to win any awards, but it's nice. It, it's good performer. Now, it comes with this little brush. Now, of course, what we're using is this, which is my Omega 10098. It is loaded, and here is... The Vanderhagen bowl that comes in the kit as well. So you get a puck, a bowl, and a brush, which all in all is a good start for a beginner. So, you know, if you guys are beginning, you you can find this and you can kind of get your feet wet, find out how things work. And uh, I think it's a good starting point. It's where I started. And then I started branching out and getting into other things. All right. All right. So now I got some wonderful comments and uh, suggestions and questions for Friday specials. And I do Friday specials on the first and third Friday of each month. So, uh, you know, stay tuned for that. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for a Friday special, go ahead and put them in the comments there. And uh, I'll give you a shout out and uh, we'll try to answer your question. If I can film it, oh man, that, that's the best. And then we can all, we can all learn. You know, we can all learn, we can further this hobby. All right. There we go. Nice. All right, so now this is episode two of the wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day, which means it's a pass and a half. We are going to go against the grain on my neck, or across the grain on my neck, against the grain here and on my chin, and against the grain like that on my cheeks. All right, so let's get going.
Nice. Okay. Now, we're going to switch hands. Get this other side. Okay, switching up that handle. Get a little bump, no big deal. Yep, that'll be fine, no problem. Okay. Now, maybe letting the soap kind of dry out a little too much, but let's just continue on and if we need a refresh, we will. There we go. Now we'll finish up pass two. There we go, pass two complete. Nice. Okay. Now, 
Go ahead and get that washed off, see how we did. Oh yeah. Cheeks are right where we want them. And that's all I'm going to need to do on my cheeks. Just two passes. You know, with the grain, against the grain, done. I don't need more than that. All right. Now, okay, coming up next is the half pass. Which is just going to be my jawline and my neck because that's all that needs work. All right, there we go. That's looking good. Now I'm going to reach around and let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, incredible. Just cuts right through it. I'm going to have a beautiful shave when this is done. Oh, yeah, nice. There we go. 
There you go. Another shave in the books, guys. Nice. Absolutely wonderful. Like I say, this soap is not going to win any awards for scent, but it performs. And you know what? Especially for beginners, that's really all you need. Now, if you really want to, of course, go go all out with brushes and artisan soaps because there's fantastic brushes and soaps out there as well. Uh, you don't necessarily need it, though, if you're on the fence whether you want to do this or not, you know, every day. All right, that was alum everywhere. And now that's actually performing a, it, it's an stringent and a antibacterial uh, or antibiotic. Yeah. All right, now. Antiseptic, that's the word I'm looking for. Now, this, which I didn't show you, is Thayer's Lavender Witch Hazel, which is going to make this really nice because it's going to cover up any scent that that soap left behind. All right, and again, Nivea Poche Bomb. Good stuff, guys. You know, got to take care of that face. A little bit will do you. All right, and there you go. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate you and all you do for me. Click right over here to see episode one, how this shave began. If you missed it, click down here on the video, specially picked out for you. Click over here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I'll see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.